Hello, I'm James Mayhew, and today I'm going to be telling you about my new book, which is called Once Upon a Tune. This is the third film about the stories in this book, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourites. It's called The Flight of the Bumblebee. This is a very famous piece of music that you're bound to have heard, and it's by a Russian composer called Nikolai Remsky-Korsakov. The piece actually comes from a much bigger work, an opera called The Tale of Tsar Zaltan, of his heroic son, Prince Guidon Guidonovich, and of the marvellous swan princess. How's that for a title? And it tells you quite a lot about what happens in the story. This is a fantastic old-fashioned fairy tale with a wonderful happy ending. In the story, a young prince and his mother have been cast into the sea in a barrel, really by mistake. The father, the king, has been tricked into thinking that they're monsters. Well, they end up on a desert island, and it's not just any old island, but a magical island, where the prince meets a beautiful swan princess. Now, the prince wants to get back to Russia to find his father and find out why he was thrown into the sea in a barrel and why his father didn't want him. So he asks the swan to help him, and the swan turns him into a bumblebee so he can fly across the sea and hide safely on a ship and travel all the way back to Russia. The swan flapped her feathers and said, Then become a bumblebee. Hide away on the ship and soon you will know your story. Wings grew from the prince's shoulders, buzzing and whirring, and up he flew into the blue sky. He became smaller and smaller, and by the time he reached the ship, the little bumblebee prince was so small, no one noticed him. The composer Rimsky-Korsakov loved writing fairy tale music, and he was a wizard with the orchestra and knew how to use all the different instruments to create the most dazzling and colourful sounds. If you liked The Flight of the Bumblebee, you might enjoy some of the other music you wrote for this story. You can find recordings of the complete opera, but perhaps the best place to start is to listen to some of the orchestral music that you wrote for this story that's usually played on its own, and it's called the Tsar Zaltan Suite. And there are three pieces. There's a march for the Tsar, a description of the barrel at sea, and lastly a description of the Swan Princess and some of the wonderful magical things on the island where they get washed up. So have a listen to that music, enjoy the flight of the bumblebee, and if you want to find out the happy ending to the story, well, you'll have to read the book. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.